My husband doesn't know what he wants. Hello, my name is Coach Adrian and I'm a relationship coach. I do these videos on Happily Committed to provide you with answers to your most pressing questions. And a question that often comes up is why does my husband not know what he wants? I empathize with you. Being with a man who's searching for himself can be quite challenging because you need someone that will bring you stability, someone that you can rely on. And when your husband seems so fragile or is not in the right place, oftentimes it leads you to have a lot of anxiety and insecurities that pop up. So why does your husband feel that way? Well, oftentimes men go through midlife crisis where they want to reinvent themselves. Other times, it's a crisis that's linked to purpose and finding their purpose. You go through different stages in life. And as a man, you're going to need to reinvent yourself. Once you're able to reach certain challenges or certain goals, it is important to set new ones to continue to feel alive. Many men can also struggle with their careers and that leads them to have certain anxieties and insecurities. Indeed, a man that is searching for himself is a man that hasn't found his purpose or his path professionally. So if your husband keeps telling you that he's unsure about the state of your marriage or the state of your relationship, don't panic. Don't continue to internalize his anxiety. It is important for you to focus on the things that you can control and for you to become the rock. The last thing you want to do is lean in and seek his time, attention, validation, or to seek reassurance. The more you suffocate him, the more he will try to take a step back and the more he will be confused. It is very important for you not to give so much that your husband starts to neglect you or to take you for granted. In many of the coaching sessions that I've had the opportunity to have with couples, husbands tend to not know what they want when their wife has given too much and has started to neglect herself, her career, her goals, her aspirations, and continuously gave in to their desires. And the more you do this, the more you lose yourself and the more difficult it is for your husband to actually value you and all that you bring to the table. Relationships are tough. Marriage is tough. And it's easy to become complacent or to start to take our partner for granted. Don't let him take you for granted. The truth of the matter is that you cannot save him from himself. It is possible for you to inspire him, to keep him on his toes, but you won't be able to save him from himself. Instead, you need to seek to save yourself, to focus on the things that you can control, to make sure that you are in a positive state of mind so that you can actually organically attract him back to you. If you don't know how to do this, click on the link in the description below. We have a more detailed video on how to approach this attraction process organically to make him come back to you. Ultimately, it's about you understanding the push and pull technique. You need to understand this notion of scarcity. You need to give him time and space to miss you, to want to be with you. You can't be the one always chasing, always nagging, being desperate to connect. Otherwise, it will push him further and further away. So it's important for you to be patient. It's important for you to have empathy and to not make him feel insecure or as if you were seeking to bail. But it's important for you not to do all the work. We need to find a healthy balance in order for both of you to be able to find your place and to keep the flame of this relationship alive. So if you're not 
getting full fulfillment from your love life, don't bang your head against the wall. Don't obsess. Instead, invest in other areas of your life, your social life, your personal life, your professional life. Make sure that you are fulfilled in these other areas so that your love life can piggyback on the progress, the happiness, the momentum that you are making in these other aspects of your life. Ultimately, don't panic. Seek to become your best self and position yourself in a way where you can inspire him to want to invest in you again. Perhaps it will take a few weeks or a few months. I have seen cases where couples go through a funk for many years. But as long as you don't give up, as long as you have a plan, good things are to come. As always, as I said, if you want to take it a step further, feel free to click in the link below and like this video, subscribe to our channel and continue to share your experience, your struggles, your questions with me in the comment section below. As always, keep fighting the good fight and see you soon on Happily Committed for another video.